The reports in the traffic sources section show you where your traffic is coming from on the internet. You can compare your traffic sources against each other to find out which sources send you the highest quality traffic. Direct traffic represents visitors who clicked on a bookmark to arrive at your site or who typed the URL directly into their browser. Referring sites include any sites that send traffic to you. These could be banner ads or links featured on blogs, affiliates, or any site that links to your site. Search engine traffic represents visitors who click on a search results link in Google, Yahoo, or any other search engine. Search engine traffic can be organic, in other words, free search results, or paid. Paid search engine traffic is pay-per-click or cost-per-click traffic that you purchase from a search engine, for example, on Google AdWords. Understanding which search engines send you qualified traffic can help you select the search engines on which you want to advertise. Looking at the highest traffic drivers is a start, but it doesn't tell you whether the traffic was qualified. In other words, did the traffic help you achieve the goals you've set for your site? One easy indicator of quality is bounce rate, the percentage of visits in which the person left without viewing any other pages. In the slide, although blogger.com sent the most traffic, it has an 88% bounce rate. A bounce rate this high suggests that the site isn't relevant to what the visitor is looking for. By clicking the Compare to Site Average icon and selecting a comparison metric, you can see which sources outperform and underperform the site average. So here, for example, if we select Bounce Rate as our comparison metric, we can see that the two most popular sources of traffic underperform the site average. One note about bounce rate. If your site is a blog, bounce rate may not be relevant. With blogs, it's common for people to look at a single page and then leave. The All Traffic Sources report lists all of the sources sending traffic to your site, including referrals, search engine traffic, and direct traffic. This report is particularly helpful because you can identify your top performing sources, regardless of whether they are search engines or sites. For example, in the report, we see that blogger.com referred more traffic than any other source. It has a medium of referral because it is a referral from a site. The second most popular source of traffic was direct. Direct traffic always has a medium of none. Free Google search engine traffic was the fourth largest referrer. The medium of organic tells us that this traffic came from clicks on unpaid search engine results. The medium of CPC on this entry, for cost per click, tells us that this traffic came from paid search results. You may sometimes see referrals from Google.com. These can come from Google Groups posts or static pages on other Google sites. If you have goals or e-commerce set up on your site, you have a much wider range of metrics with which to assess performance. Click on the Goal Conversion or E-Commerce tabs to view which sources are driving conversions and purchases. The Keywords Report is very useful for understanding what visitors were expecting to find on your site. Keywords with a high bounce rate tell you where you failed to meet that expectation. You can isolate your paid search engine traffic by clicking the Paid link. By doing this, you'll limit the report to just showing your AdWords traffic and paid traffic from other search engines. If you have paid keywords with a high bounce rate, you should evaluate whether your landing pages are relevant enough, and you might also want to consider whether you should continue to buy those keywords. Remember, you can use the Goal Conversion and E-Commerce tabs to compare the performance of keywords in terms of conversions and revenue. For example, in the slide example, the Google Kids phrase has an 86% bounce rate. Let's find out what landing page is being used. We start by clicking on the Google Kids entry in the table. This takes us to the keyword report for Google Kids. To find out which landing page is being used for this keyword, we'll select Landing Page from the Dimension pull-down menu. We can now see which landing page is being used and evaluate its relevance to the keyword. This report can be particularly helpful if multiple landing pages are being used. You can find out which landing pages are responsible for the poor performance and send the keyword traffic to the most effective landing page.
be sure to also check the bounce rates for organic, non-paid keywords. This information can offer insights into how to best focus your search engine optimization efforts. As long as you have defined goals and track e-commerce transactions, you can use the metrics on the goal conversion and e-commerce tabs to assess the performance of any campaign. By default, Google Analytics attributes a conversion or sale to the campaign that most recently preceded the conversion or sale. For example, if a visitor clicks on an AdWords ad, campaign one in the first session, and then later returns via a referral to purchase something, referrer one in the second session, the referral will get the credit for the sale. However, if instead the visitor returns directly, then the AdWords ad, campaign one, will still get credit for the sale. To prevent a specific referral or campaign from overriding a prior campaign, simply append UTM no override equal one to all referring campaign links as shown in the slide. This ensures that the conversion is always attributed to the original referrer or first campaign the user clicked on. Therefore, in the example above, the original campaign will continue to get credit for the conversion. If a visitor returns via a link without the UTM no override, as in the third example, that campaign will get credit for the sale, since it overwrites all previous referring campaigns.